All right, Pickerington physics students, I've got a demonstration here today to um, help give an example of Ohm's law. I've got a 12 volt battery here, like the one you'd normally have in your car, except I didn't buy it for the car. Um, and I've got a positive terminal, I believe, on this side, as you can tell, and a negative terminal on that side. I've also got two pairs of pliers here. These are metal, they're a little corroded, but they're metal on the side. I've got a wire. This is a copper wire. I've stripped the plastic covering on either end. So there's plastic covering in the center, not on the ends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that to this. And notice, I want you to definitely notice that I'm actually holding the metal part to this. We'll see how this works. This is going to be interesting. Probably should be wearing goggles. Ah! Okay. Well, that actually did what I thought it was going to do. Kind of stinky. I'm going to put these on the ground so they'll cool down and they won't melt the plastic on this cart. So I want you to think about what's going to happen if I touch these now. So you saw what happened to the wire. It basically melted, got so hot within a couple seconds. And so I'm not touching either post. So now I'm going to touch this side this side. What do you think is going to happen when I touch both sides? Normally I get a student to do this. I tell them if you remember from the Van de Graaff demonstrations we did, um, it's your nervous system that reacts to electricity. So if you recall my hand was twitching when I put up the Van de Graaff. And I usually ask the person who volunteers whether they've gone to the bathroom recently or not. And I get out a tarp and might make a nice show of it. But I don't have the time to do that right now. I want to get this demonstration done and it's just me. So I'm going to count down here, three, two, one, Ugh, heard something, and I'm perfectly safe. So the reason behind that is that Ohm's law, which is current is equal to a potential difference, a voltage difference divided by resistance. And so when I think about a copper wire, this is another example of a copper wire, it's got a very low resistance, less than one ohm significantly less than one ohm for this short of a length. 12 volts divided by say a tenth of an ohm is 120 amps. That much current going through this wire is going to cause it to create a great amount of heat. In fact it did and it melted. But human skin on average has a high resistance and so let's say I have 100,000 ohms of resistance. 12 volts divided by 100,000 ohms would be 0. 0.000012 amps, something like that. Might be off by a decimal there. So that's not enough to hurt me. There is electricity going through me, but not enough to hurt. So hopefully that makes sense and that's a good dramatic explanation of Ohm's Law. Don't try this at home. It is easy, unfortunately, if you have tools to, if you have a metal tool and you accidentally touch just both of these, it can cause a lot of sparks. Some of the batteries have hydrogen gas they give off. Hydrogen and sparks do not mix well, as anyone who's seen the video of the Hindenburg disaster knows. Um, other things are is that if a piece of metal were to touch this, um, it would get very, very hot. And even though you might not electrocute yourself, you definitely could burn yourself.